We want to build a simple top bar. Therefore, let's create an up bar inside our scaffold. And inside the up bar, we have the bottom property where we create our top bar widget. And here inside, by the help of the tabs property, we can create our list of tabs. If we hot reload, then we get first of all this error that no top bar controller is attached to our top bar. Therefore, we will wrap our scaffold widget with the default top bar controller, which then we can define the length of the top bar. And now we will have our top bar with the three tabs. Sometimes we need to provide navigation to other pages. One way is using drawer inside our scaffold widget. A drawer can contain any widget you like. For example, a simple text. And even we can change the background color of the drawer. A column widget displays its children vertically. It takes a children property containing a list of widgets that can add multiple widgets. The cross axis alignment is used to determine how a column can position its children horizontally and the main axis alignment is used to position its children vertically. The container widget is commonly used widget that allows customization of its child widget. We can easily add properties with an height, color, a child widget, padding and margin and so on. Buttons like elevated button is used for taking any action in our app and it takes two required properties. One is the child that can be any widget, another is the unpressed that we can take any action while pressing the button. For example, navigating to the second page. The row widget displays its children horizontally. It takes a children property that can contain a list of widgets. The main axis alignment is used to position its children horizontally. And the cross axis alignment is used to position its children vertically.